Hey guys, my name is Kev and welcome to today's video. I just spent the last three hours watching recorded Zoom lectures for my theoretical CS class and I still have another three to go. One might say I've been kind of slacking off, but I'm starting to lose concentration so I'm going to go on a walk and also talk briefly about why I decided to choose computer science as my major. We get it almost every night. All throughout high school, I always knew I wanted to go into an engineering related field. I was really into robotics and even started a robotics club in my high school, which ultimately died because most of the students at my school wanted to get into med. <laughs> Nerds. But I didn't complain much because it was just another thing to pimp up my resume. I was really interested in fields such as computer engineering, electrical engineering, mechatronics. But after doing some research, I found out that most people with these degrees just ended up working as a developer. And that's because the demand for robotic related jobs is really low and it's highly specialized, while the demand for software related jobs is skyrocketing right now. So I did some simple calculations. If all of these paths were to get me to the same destination, why don't I just take computer science, forget about the hardware, and just focus solely on the software? And that's exactly what I did. I gave up my dream on working on Robodog and began my journey to become a senior tech lead at Facebook. I'm not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Now that I'm in CS, do I regret my decision? Yes and no. Let me explain. In my first year, I was still unsure if I wanted to continue with CS. I took a bunch of courses ranging from math to stats to econ, even a course on Marco Polo, which is completely irrelevant to me now. What really convinced me to continue with CS was this first year course I took, CSC 148. It wasn't the introductory CS course given at the university, it was a level above that, teaching you stuff about recursion, linked lists, and binary trees. And I absolutely loved that class. I would wake up in the morning excited to go to lecture and excited to see my man David Liu speak for two and a half hours. Now I actually made an effort to go to every single class, which is a lot coming from me. I found the material to be very interesting and challenging, and it really changed my perspective about programming in general and the limitless potential of software. I can say hands down, it's probably the most significant course I've taken in my undergrad so far. Actually, it might be the only significant CS course I've taken because it was just a downhill snowball from there. The university baited me with this amazing first year course and I'm expecting a similar level of quality content in my up year courses. But all I get is a million assignments and some guy drawing dicks on Zoom because the prof doesn't know how to turn off annotations. Yeah. One thing I overlook and the biggest mistake I made when choosing a CS degree is you don't actually learn how to code. In first year, this is what it's all about. Learning how to write a function, how to run it, hello world basics. But after you start taking more upper year courses, it becomes much more theoretical. You're gonna have to prove things, find asymptotic runtime, complexity, and there's a shit ton of math. A lot of crap that I'll most likely never revisit again in my life. I would say these upper year courses really preps you well for graduate school rather than industry, which is completely fine if you want to go down a path of academia. It just doesn't apply to over 90% of students taking those courses. I would even go as far as saying, excluding my first year courses, all the other courses I took were of minimal to no help for my internships or work outside of school. The skills I needed for those experiences I either self-taught or I learned on the job. What this degree does teach is how to think and problem solve. That sounds like a lot of BS, but that's essentially what you'd be doing as a software engineer. Just a lot less theory and vigorous proofs. Now here comes the million dollar question. Should you major in computer science? 
Ask yourself these three questions in order of most importance to least. Do you enjoy problem solving big questions? Do you enjoy theoretical math? And do you enjoy coding? Like I said, you don't get taught how to program in a CS degree. It really challenges you to think differently, optimize algorithm, and then mathematically prove why it's correct. If you want to challenge yourself, find different approaches to a problem and explore different areas of tech, but through a more theoretical lens, a CS degree may be perfect for you. However, if you want to avoid all that theoretical bullshit, get the technical skills to become a software engineer, a coding bootcamp might be best for you. And trust me, your savings will thank me as well. A side note about the industry and money. It is a well-known fact that software engineers have crazy salaries and too many benefits for their own good. But you don't necessarily need a CS degree to get one of those positions. In fact, these days you don't need a degree at all. But a CS degree does help. It gives you the opportunity to improve your problem solving skills, getting industry level experience through internships, and also growing your network with your peers and other industry professionals. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and learned something new about CS majors. I gotta get back home and finish up those lectures. I spent way too much time on this walk. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Guys, the sky is so delicious. Oh my god, I need it. <laughs>